Mazuma Boxing here with another video. All right, guys, let's talk about Ares Landy Lara today. Um, you know, Ares Landy, Ares Landy Lara fights at 154, uh, holds two belts, IBO, and I think it's the WBA. Yeah, WBA. And um, he's ranked number one right now at 154 because, you know, Canelo's at uh, Canelo weight right now. So uh, he just came off of his uh, impressive victory over Vanez Martirosian. For this, uh, he fought the second time, scored a draw because uh, it went to the scorecards in the fourth round after I believe it was a yeah, it was an accidental headbutt and Martirosian had a really severe uh, cut over his eye and um, it had to go to the scorecards and they scored it a draw. So they went through it again and uh, Erzlandi Lara clearly won the fight. Um, and after the fight, uh, he continued to call out uh, Triple G had, like he's been doing in the past and said he wouldn't mind facing Canelo again. Um, you know, I thought about that fight between him and Triple G, and I think that's a pretty good fight. But um, if I was Ares Landy Lara's advisor, I would advise that uh, he would uh, go up to 160 and face some opposition first. Um, Ares Landy Lara, the problem with him is, is like he's hesitant to throw combinations. The man is a beautiful boxer. He has beautiful footwork. He's able to uh, move around the ring really well, bring generalship on point. Um, man has a beautiful straight left hand, real awkward southpaw, and uh, so on. And that would definitely give Triple G some problems. You know, Triple G, a lot of people say that Triple G is good at cutting off the ring, but who did, who, who like, other than, like, Willie Montrose is a is a solid boxer, but that guy isn't on, on the level of Ares Landy Lara, clearly. And um, they say he's really good at cutting off the ring. You know, I saw videos of the breakdown of how he's able to cut off the ring with such a, with, like, a great technique and stuff. But I would love to see how he would do it against a fighter like Ares Landy Lara that's constantly moving around the ring, hitting and moving, um, you know. I think that would be a pretty good fight. Um, what I think is, like, during the later rounds that he wouldn't be able to take uh, Triple G's punching power. You know, the guy hits way too hard, man. It's just going to be a matter of time before uh, he hurts Ares Landy Lara or uh, uh, even knocks him out. You know, I, I got him knocking uh, Ares Landy Lara out. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ares Landy Lara would be the one to not even get hit with that many punches and actually take the fight. Um, Triple G... You know, he had, we haven't we haven't seen a time in uh, Triple G's career where he's been hit with a lot of punches unless he let the opponent do so. And um, it, I wonder how Triple G will react when he gets hit by these punches. Um, that's something that has yet to be seen because, you know, he's just been wiping out the opposition left and right, knocking everybody out. But I think this would be a pretty good fight right here. But like I said, my, my advice to him would be to actually fight some people at middleweight, um, go up there, you know, the uh, what, what's that guy that he that he was supposed to fight? He he's a mandatory for Triple G. I think his name is uh, Toriano, Toriano, J Toriano Johnson. I believe he was. I seen him fight on HBO. Then ever since then he went real quiet. Um, I would like to see him fight either him, you know, step up and fight like a uh, <clears throat> even a Danny Jacobs. That that would be pretty interesting to see. You know, to, uh, you know, Daniel Jacobs been real quiet too. After he came, and it, and I'm surprised that he did so because he just got finished. Uh, he knocked out uh, Peter Quillen pretty fast, you know, who was a pretty tough fighter. Although he ducked Triple G, uh, he's a pretty solid fighter at that weight class, Kid Chocolate. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind him seeing uh, Kid, him fight Kid Chocolate either. Um, as you, if you know Ares Landy Lara, then you know he doesn't have uh, that many problems facing bigger opposition. He faced a uh, well-known Paul Williams. Um, you know, you know a lot of robbery, and in fact, there's judges, the ones who had actually scored the fight, have been suspended for such a terrible call. Um, this is it right here. You see, they scored a majority decision. One of them scored it. They all scored it in uh, Paul Williams' favor, except for Al Bennett, who actually scored it a draw. So that's actually just as bad. Um, I believe he lost to Carlos Molina, but. Been off track, um, yeah. I, I think I think him and Triple G would be a pretty interesting fight, but he just can't go up there and just face the big dog so fast, especially on the caliber of a Triple G. So I think he should get a couple more fights, and I think that'll be a pretty intriguing fight. 
and that's that's really pretty much about it. What you what do you guys think about Ares Landy Lar facing Triple G? How do you have it going? Um, yeah, and that's about it. Um, this is Mazuma Boxing, and we out of here.